afraid that this fine recording of book will be long before you're ready. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> Jutting yourself before us, bragging about the holiday he's taking while we stick here in them fences. Torn at high and be. What, his trip? No, his being able to save. All right, here it comes. Man. Why, you sawed off son of a this and that? I'll teach you how to play tricks on me. The big strong man beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Passing through. Passing through? 
Ain't you gonna stop with us, Bell? Not this trip, Hank. I'm on my way to Waco for a holiday. Well, I just finished a batch of fried cakes. I'll bet you stay long enough to munch some of them. You sure remember my weakness, don't you, Ma? <laughs> you know I never could pass none of them up. <laughs> no. Sit down, Buck, and make yourself at home. Yours, Hank? Yeah. Them fiddles look kind of invalid-like to me. What's the matter? Ain't you feeling good? Uh oh, plum well, physical, but tormented mental. How come, Hank? Well, crime's sort of getting beyond my control. You see, Buck, there's been a lot of mysterious robberies right here in my county. And I'm up the gang. And while I don't want Ma to know it, folks is beginning to talk about recalling me in favor of my chief deputy, Walt Gregor. Walt Gregor? Get into the Buck, and maybe you'll tarry a while. <laughs> Buck, I'll water your horse while you and Ma powwow a spell. Thanks, Hank. Sit down, Buck, and start eating. Did Pa tell you of his troubles? No, Ma. What are Hank's troubles? Buck, I may be loco as a drunk Injun, but I believe Pa's been framed out of office. He was kind of hinting something about that. Who do you think it is, Ma? Well, I ain't ever felt just right about this Walt Gregor. Walt Gregor? Never heard of him before. He came in here two years back. And since then, he's been sort of running things. Wish I could stick around here for a while, Ma, but darn it, I've been hankering for this holiday at Waco for years. Oh. Why Waco? Some girl down there? Oh, Ma, you know. You know that females don't interest me. Uh... Right? <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Simpson, a Mexican gent, gave me this and asked me to give it to the sheriff. Thanks, son. I'll see that he gets it. A uh, Paul, something for you. Thanks. I desire to swear I have committed no crime anywhere in past years. Yet, I am reputed to continuously hold up and rob many peoples. Please believe me most sincere. I am no longer bad man. If these crime continue, I must come back and kill whoever is making me appear bandito. Signed, Pablo Escobar, alias the Juarez Kid. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. The Juarez Kid. Well, if he means that, you've been wasting a lot of time, Pa. Folks been blaming these crimes on the kid, Hank? I have. My failure to capture him has sort of riled the people. You mind if I read that letter? No. I thought this was a phony, but it's from the kid, all right. Do you know the kid? That's what I want to know. Yep. Met him in Pecos two years back. He helped me out in a shooting scrape. <laughs> He's a great guy, but he don't believe in working for his living. Well, Landa Goshen, tell us about him. Well, uh, he's a little fella. Got a great sense of humor, and faster than a rattlesnake with a gun or a knife. But if he likes you, he'll go all the way.
That old phantom yarn don't listen good to me. That fellow's in these rocks and he can't fly. Report that to Hank Simpson and we'll keep searching. stopping with us on your way back, Buck. Well, I'm planning on that. Well, Hank, hope you find your phony bandit. So long. Say, that Juarez kid's been on the rampage again. We chased him into Villains Canyon and lost him. Did you see him? Sure, darn near winged him. How big a fella is he? Oh, a fella about the size of this man here. I'll saddle up and we'll trail him. How big is this deputy sheriff you spoke about, Gregor? Pretty big, Buck. Well, bigger than you. I'll see you on the way back, Ma. I got your hunch, Buck, and I think you're right. Get your hands full of heaven, mister. Jake, get his iron. Is this a stick up or am I being checked? Get off that horse and walk forward. What brings you into this country? You're a stranger to me. Been calling on Mo and Hank Simpson. Recent? Just left them. Have you seen anything of a Mexican in your travels? No. Sorry, we're wrong on you, mister. Ha! I'm darned if I am. What is it? We're after the war-ass kid. Lost him and picked up this gent by mistake. Who are you? And what's your business? My name is Still, Buck Sawyer. Just stopped in Hank and Ma Simpson. They're old friends of mine. Sorry, my men mistook you for a bandit. It's all right. I've been able to find the war ass kid, Hank. Well, I have reason to believe the war ass kid's reformed. You're not going to find the war ass kid. You're going to find somebody putting their crimes on him. You think as you like, Simpson. I'm going to back trail and search for that greaser.
Want some? I'd hate to query any man that was trying to go straight, but don't think you fool me. I haven't forgot that affair in Pecos yet. Swanson? Pecos? What are you talking about? Quit stalling. If you're on the level, I'll forget it. But if you're still crooked, you better move on. Hank Simpson's been like a dad to me. I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. The war ass kid put that trademark on you two years back in Pecos. Time you feel tough, get drunk and forget it. The fellow who killed that man's getting away. I'll bring him back. Carry my father inside. And don't think I'm afraid to shoot. If you get some water, we might save him. Go ahead of me into the kitchen.
Miss, if you'll give me my gun, I'll try and bring in the man who killed your father. You'll stay where you are. When our boys return from delivering the stock your partner paid for, they'll take care of you. I haven't any partner, and I didn't know that you'd sold any stock. Don't try to lie out of this. Your gang bought our stock, received a bill of sale, then they, they shipped the steers instead of rustling them. You came back here to rob us. Do you mind telling me who bought the stock? A Mexican company. Represented by a man named Escobar. Was this Escobar a little fellow? You know he was as big a man as you are. I wish you'd believe that I had nothing to do with killing your father. Barney! Barney! Come in here! Bring that man back! followed him into the hills but lost his trail in the dark. And you didn't hear anyone else around the house, Ruth? A crash of glass woke me. When I reached Dad, this man was running toward his horse. Looks like your visitor had business in this neighborhood, Simpson. I'd as soon lose my faith in Jehovah as believe Buck or Crook. Walt, get the boys to work. We'll have a talk with this Mexican beef buyer. He's the only one who knew the money was in the house. All right, but I think you're just wasting horse flesh. Ruthie, let Pa handle this. You do understand, don't you? Pablo. 
A man is coming. Un hombre. Sheriff? Don't know. You like? <laughs> sure, good. Huh. So, senor, you walk right into the house of a kid and make yourself at home, eh? Kid? What kid? Not the war ass kid. Un momento. Don't get new, senor. You call have the gun right in your heart, and I seldom miss, almost never. Remember Pecos two years back, Escobar? Pecos. The buck, you son of a pistola! <laughs> Mr. Matter. I detoured a bullet with my shoulder last night and lost a lot of blood. Oh, it's too bad. Oh, Mama, Abba, hot water, quick! You take this man. Perhaps this is plan to capture you for rewards. Oh, Mama, you always talk and say the wrong things. There is no rewards for me. Silly baby. There is many rewards. Why else you stay here and never be seen in daytime? Oh, olvide eso. Ande, traiga el agua pronto, mamá. Ay, caramba. Caracoles, mire. It's very bad. Are you going to finish him, see? Ah, I'm going to save him. Then we are even for the favors. What they call in the American language, 50-50. Oh, eso está muy malo. Why you know, where is Buck? I want to show him the gold. We find high grade gold. Where is the girl? To see a girl. Caramba, he's a bigger fool than I believe. He trusts women. I'll go and ride and find him. You will be a grand fool if you go out in daytime. Ah, Mama. Ah, mire. Senor Deputy. I'm not supposed to be here. ¿Sabe, mamá? Bueno. Tenga mucho cuidado. Bueno, no, no voy a atender. Sí. Cover the sheds. I'll check inside. Oh, 
Sorry, Sonora. Seen anything of a stranger in these parts? What is the matter with me? Always you come here expecting to find a stranger. Why so? Eh? We're sure there's a killer loose in this country. We're not accusing you, we're just asking. You ain't accusing, eh? Three times you asked this last week, and three times I say you are loco. All right, Chili, don't boil over. Atrevido. Cállese la boca, grosero. Faltaba una señora. I great if I ever saw it. And fresh mine. See, this is better than finding a killer. Where'd you get it? Oh, I have a little name that gives magic gun. That is how I live, sabe? Well, you should live like a queen if you got much of this stuff. I've often wondered what you use for money. Now I savvy. It is not worth. I cannot let others know, or they steal everything. No one around here, Walt. Okay, I'll be right with you. All right. You know, I might be able to help you. I'll be seeing you. Pablo, they have gone. Sube. Sube, se han ido. ¿Ya se fueron? Sí. ¿Estás sí. segura? Sí, segura. No, no. ¿Dónde está el oro? Aquí, aquí. Ah. Forgetting this porch may make trouble for us. Caramba. I'm slipping. You killed my father, and I warn you, I'll even that score. I've been thinking over what happened that night, and I can understand how you feel. But I had no reason for harming your father. You've taken everything. Why have you come back? Because I don't want you to think I'm a killer.
Hank. Hello, Ruthie. Ruth? You were wrong about the murderer. The gun you took away from that stranger was a 45 and fully loaded. And the gun that killed your father was a 38. And now that this Gregor knows of the goal, we should be moving on. If Gregor's the man who killed Hopkins, maybe we can trap him. But what has the killing of Hopkins to do with our goal? I don't know, entiendo eso. He told Mona that he'd be seeing her. If he buys the mine, he'll come back and steal his money. The same that I think he did with Hopkins. And you want... I should stay here and let him kill me with a pistol? Oh, no! No, no! Wait a minute. Sit down. See, si, see, si. tranquilize, ese mamá. <laughs> I got that all figured out. But we can't do anything till he shows up. Then I'll explain my scheme. Don't worry about him killing you. Let me do the worrying. Uh... How much gold did you take out of here, senora? Maybe 30,000, maybe more. Pesos? No, <laughs> dollar. Oh, well, chances are there isn't much left. I just guess in the high grade, the best grade. I'll take this place off your hands. And you, why, you can live like a queen in Mexico with many servants. How much you pay? Oh, well, what do you think it's worth? I take $30,000. $30,000? <laughs> well, where do you think I could get that much cash? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $7,500 cash and a certified check for $15,000. I'll beat that. You give me a bill of sale and I'll agree that all I take out over that amount, I'll share with you. Okay? That I like. I am so happy to go to Mexico. Okay, I'll share all I, I take out over that amount. I sign papers that way. All right, you sign. Sign right here and it's a deal. Sign right here. Wait. Senor Senorita, you are my prisoners. Be good enough to hold the hands up. You have made a big mistake to misjudge a very good friend of mine. No harm shall come to you. Only it is necessary you be what you Yankees call a uh, show me. So I will oblige. I will show you. Take his belt and tie the vaquero to the chair. I don't understand. Oh, you will be quite safe with me, senorita. Please. Andy. <laughs> Sherry, this is Mo Escobar, the lady who owns this spring. Sherry. 
Senor Sheriff, I am very honest woman. <laughs> Mona, you don't need to worry. The Sheriff is only here to see the show and stop the crime in his county. But if your hunch is correct, it's going to save me a heap of worry. Huh. Well, Sheriff, if my hunch ain't correct, it's going to worry me a heap. Hasn't the kid got back yet? Not yet. That's Gregor, but he's changed his clothes just like that big fella said he would. Sheriff, what does this mean? It means that Buck's playing a long chance to help me round up a killer. Buck. Come here. Ruthie, I want you to meet Buck Sawyer. Buck, make me known to your friend, the Sheriff. He's not meet me yet. <laughs> Hank, I want you to meet the war-ass kid. And in spite of his past, he's aces now. I'm taking Buck's word for you, kid. But I noticed he made me give up my gun before he let me meet you. <laughs> He's one wise friend. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> hey, Vaquero is coming. Lo vio? Sí, lo he visto. Por ahí viene. Quick, everybody in the other room. And be very quiet. Bueno, vamos, venga.
I'm not a son of a worm. This bullet is a 38 long. I guess you're right, kid. We shall soon find out. Look, Senor Sheriff. A 38 long. And being in the confidence of Sheriff Hank Simpson, I could work with more freedom. I guess that's all. Unless, if it'd help any, I'd like to add I'm sorry. I know just how you feel, senor. I was once a bad boy, too. But now I work with a pig. I'd never have to admit it, but I'm sorry. Well, you sure took a lot of convincing. <laughs> I got a good job as foreman waiting for me, but uh, I kind of like this neighborhood. I'll need a good foreman on my ranch. That reminds me. The kid left your man hogtied, and I bet he's about tuckered out by now. Say, when do you leave for Waco, Buck? Waco? Say, why Waco? <laughs> oh, Mama, you can't remember that far back. Yes, I can. <laughs> the Catarrias. ¿Te crees que no tener yo mis romances cuando joven? Oh, mamá, forget all about love. Get me something to eat. I'm hungry. Mira al niño. 